Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Sorry if I have food in my teeth, but I'm currently eating my salad um, leftovers from last night. And holy crap, we made this salsa really spicy. We made homemade salsa, and it's so spicy. My eyes are watering, and I didn't think it was going to be that spicy, so I poured a bunch on my salad. Now I'm regretting it, but... It is really, really good. I love homemade salsa. It's the bomb. Anyway, that's what I'm having for lunch. I just thought I'd start the vlog. Um, today's my little bro's birthday. I don't think there's any plans for anything. Because um, everybody works and stuff. That's what happens when you're grown. You know, when you grow up, everybody works. I may go to the store here in a little bit with my dad. Um, he's wanting to get Brian something for his birthday. So I may do that. But other than that, I don't really have much plans for the day. Um... So we'll see what we get into, but I did want to start it. Does anybody else weirdly stand in their kitchen to eat their food sometimes, or is it just me? I feel like most people like to relax and sit down while they're eating. But sometimes I just stand in the kitchen and eat. I don't know why. Is that weird, or do you guys do that too? I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to finish up my salad and then probably go hang out with my dad for a little bit, grab Brian something for his birthday, and then we'll see after that. So it's actually a bit later. It's 4.30. Um, I did go with my dad earlier. We went to look for Brian a birthday present, like I had mentioned, that we might. We did go. We went to Walmart, Trash Supply, Ollie's, Bartlett's. We went everywhere trying to find him something. And he didn't find anything. My dad's very, I don't know, he's very strange. Not judging because we're all weird in our own ways. You guys know how weird I am. But he's... I don't know, he has a really hard time picking out things. And so he'll like contradict himself and he'll be like, oh, I'll just go somewhere else and look somewhere else. And then you go around the whole town and then he'll just go back to the very first place you went to and pick up something. And I'm like, you could have did that in five minutes. But instead it took three hours. But anyway, um, we spent some time together. So that's what matters. But uh, he dropped me back home about three o'clock. So I had to hurry up and get the vlog edited for y'all. Um... So I did that. It's now saving. Justin's pretty upset because so every employee that works up there where he works has to be on call one day a week and then they rotate weekends. So like, for example, Justin's on call day is today on Thursday. So any calls he gets after hours, he has to tend to those people. Sometimes most of the time you just they just have some questions or something you can answer on the phone. You don't have to actually go out. But occasionally you might have to go out and you know, see the patient or, you know, whatever. So he calls and he's on his way home at like three, 325 or something like that. He called and said he was on his way home. We talked on the phone and then all of a sudden he's like, Hey, I gotta let you go. Someone's calling me and I'm on call. So I gotta take the call. I'm like, okay. So then he, he gets off the phone for a few minutes, calls me right back. And he's like, I gotta go back. And I was like, what? And he's like, I gotta go back. And he literally just got here. Like, he got to town. He didn't make it all the way to the house, but he got to town, which is a 45-minute drive. So he drove 45 minutes here. And then as soon as he gets to town, he gets a call and has to go all the way back. So now he drove all the way here. Then he's got to drive all the way back. And then he's got to see the patient and drive all the way back. So he's going to be probably upset when he gets home, which is understandable. But he is on call part of the job it sucks but anyways um we are gonna have pulled pork for dinner i'm gonna put it in the instapot Justin usually makes it because he found a recipe online that he really likes um and it actually turns out really good so uh he was telling me he's trying to tell me what the website was and the call dropped but i'm pretty sure i found it um so i'm fixing to get that i'm gonna get a I'm going to cut it up in chunks so it cooks faster. And then I'm going to throw it in the Instant Pot with all the seasonings and sauces and stuff. All right, guys. We're going to make this pork roast together. Are you ready? We're going to need lots of ingredients here, so stay with me, okay? We're going to need some light brown sugar, okay? And then we're going to need some cayenne pepper, okay, okay? Liquid smoke. Salt and pepper. Got it. We're going to need some onion powder, which I have more of. It's almost empty. Garlic powder. Paprika. Worc Worcestershire sauce, however the hell you guys prefer to say that. And barbecue sauce. And I think, oh, that's not all. Also chicken broth, which I'm going to make um, with these cubes because that's all we had. I didn't know we needed chicken broth. But we always have these as backups. So it'll work. 
So first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut up your big old pork roast into squares, like just even chunks. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. Should have done that off camera, but I'm going to do it real quick. Okay, so I've got all my dry ingredients in this bowl. I'll put up the recipe down below so you guys can use it if you want to. But I'm just going to mix it all up. Once it's mixed, you're going to rub down your meat with your seasoning. So do that real fast. Once you have all your meat rubbed down with your spices, it should look nice and, you know, rubbed down with spices. So I'm going to toss that all into my Instant Pot. Once it's all in your Instant Pot, you're going to... I have a little bit of seasoning left over in my bowl, so I'm just going to dump it on in here. Now we're going to move on to our liquid measurements. And again, I don't have actual liquid chicken broth, so I'm just going to add in one and a half cups of water and then throw the chicken broth cubes in. So that's what I'm going to do. If you have chicken broth, obviously you can just use that. All right, so I have my Worcestershire sauce in, my liquid smoke, and my chicken broth. And now I'm adding in, instead of half to a full cup of barbecue sauce, we had just under a cup, so I'm gonna use that. And you're just gonna pour that evenly all over the pork. A part that I skipped was the sauteing the meat with the seasoning on it. Um, you can use a couple tablespoons of oil and put it on your uh, in, in your Instant Pot on sa saute to saute your meat a little bit, but Justin told me he skips that part every time and it still turns out really good. So I'm gonna skip that part just for lack of time because Justin actually told me he's already on his way home. So um, yeah, you can do that if you want to, just to brown the meat a little bit, give it a nice saute and a nice brown color, but I'm skipping that step. So now I have everything in, I'm gonna toss it in the Instant Pot for 50 minutes and it'll be done. So now I'm just gonna take this time to clean up my mess. And yeah, you only have a few dishes to do, all your measuring spoons and stuff. And then you literally just clean, you know, your tongs or your fork or whatever you use to mix up the meat when it's done. And then you clean your Instapot bowl, pan, whatever. And that's it, so it's a really easy dinner. And like I said, the recipe will link, be linked down below. That's what's for dinner. I'm excited, I don't know what we're gonna have with it. We'll figure it out when Justin gets here, but for now, I'm gonna clean up a mess and then wait for Justin. Okay, so it's been a while, Justin's back home. I always film this and it looks like you guys can see me when I'm filming, but then when I go to edit it, it's really dark. So hopefully you guys can see me okay. But um, Justin's back home from his long day of work and we had our dinner, which was delicious. And then I was just scrolling to Facebook because we were sitting there after eating, just kind of winding down for a few minutes. Um, and then I saw on Facebook, sometimes, like for St. Patrick's and different like Christmas and stuff, our little town will do this deal where they'll, well, where they will um, hide like for Christmas they're hiding Buddy the Elf and you like go find him in random spots. And it said whoever finds him gets five hundred dollars cash and like a free family meal from this chicken place here. Sorry if it sounds like we're driving crazy. It's because we are. <laughs> Just trying to get there because the picture was so obvious. Like you you could tell exactly where it's at. So somebody probably already got it because they actually posted it like 30 minutes ago. But people were just now starting to comment on it, so I think people were just now seeing it. Um, so we're gonna go see if it's still there. It's just like a community thing, I guess. Oh, so people Shit. are there, no! Oh look, they're out there, looking for it. Um, okay, so we didn't find Buddy the Elf. Nobody found it. Well, it seems like what they're doing is they're taking a picture, because it started out at a car dealership. They took a picture of him there, and then they said he ran from the car dealership. And then they took a picture of him at that little pond area that we were at and they and they haven't said that he ran from there but I'm assuming they're gonna keep doing that until they get to like their final spot that they're gonna end it at or whatever so um, we're right now we're gonna go get Brian's birthday present because Justin's been at work and um, I wanted to wait for him to get it because I guess I can take what it is because we're fixing to give it to him so he's not gonna see this we're getting him that cyberpunk game I have no idea what it's about but I think Brian wants it um, we asked Hillary and she said that he's been talking about it, so we're going to get that for him. He's had a pretty rough past month um, with personal stuff going on, so I think he deserves a little extra special gift. So we're going to get him that if they have it here. Hopefully they do. We took Brian his gift. He really liked it. Um, he said that he was going to buy it for himself, and he didn't yet, so um, he was really excited to go in and play it so he's gonna do that 
But we picked up Matt and Macy and we're picking them up because we're going to go look for that elf because people are still looking for it. So maybe we'll find it. Update, I'm frozen. <laughs> My cheeks are so red. Justin gave up like 15 minutes ago. And uh, we looked literally everywhere. Let me show you guys. It's at this place. They posted him by that pond over there. They posted a picture of him by that pond. But he's not anywhere to be found. And so I had to get warm because it's too cold. We're all giving up. Me too. I'm freezing. My cheeks are freaking red. Maybe they'll move him tomorrow. Maybe we can find him then. All right, guys. Well, we're back home. Justin just got a shower and we're pooped from looking for Buddy the Elf. We could not find him anywhere. Um, maybe we'll try again tomorrow if no one found him. I, I'm pretty sure they called it quits probably at 10, which we left about 9.45. So um, we drove back by and there was no one there looking. So I'm sure they probably call it quits at a certain time because somebody's not going to stay there all night watching, you know. So anyways, um, as far as I know, they're supposed to move it again tomorrow. So I'll keep my eyes out and... If they post a different location, maybe we'll have to go look for it. But for now, we're going to get ready for bed. I don't even know what I filmed today. I guess we'll see when I go to edit the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow.